Good morning, I'm Travis Guillory. And I'm Corey Duke, and here are your top stories from Two Works For You. Today, we're expecting to learn the names of the two airmen killed during a training mishap. Today's flights at Vance Air Force Base in Enid are grounded, while the military investigates how the airmen died yesterday. Authorities say two T-38 Talons, each with two people aboard, were on a routine training mission. One of the jets landed upside down. Two other pilots were not hurt. A new juvenile justice center opens this morning in downtown Tulsa. The Family Center for Juvenile Justice is located near Archer and Denver, and the $32 million building is going to feature expanded spaces for visitation, additional classrooms, and even a children's library and play area. The ribbon cutting is going to be at 10 o'clock this morning. And thousands of runners are gearing up for the 14th annual Route 66 Marathon. Today, more than 11,000 runners are passing through the Cox Business Center, picking up their packets. Money raised from the marathon goes to several local charities, including the Community Food Bank of Eastern Oklahoma and the VFW Post 577. The 5K kicks off at 8 tomorrow morning. Now it's going to check in today's forecast from meteorologist Clint Boone. Thank you, Travis and Corey. Cold, soggy conditions for us this morning. Temperatures upper 30s. That's pretty much where we're going to be all day long with even some more drizzle likely a little bit later on today. Your weekend forecast looking so much better. Sunshine returns Saturday 52, 60 Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. A lot of travel orders next week out ahead of Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving looking a little bit wet with temperatures in the upper 40s. All right, thanks, Glenn, and thank you for tuning in to this digital news update. Keep checking back for updates all throughout the day. And be sure to join Karen Larson and Mike Brooks tonight at 5, 6, and 10 on Two Works For You.